Guys, I got an email from a listener, as I do, and here's what the email was. Does no one in the mixed martial arts community think bare-knuckle boxing is depraved? Ask any professional boxer if bare-knuckle boxing is a legitimate sport, and they would look at you crazy. Why would any athletic commission allow this grotesque spectacle to be promoted and sanctioned? UFC has taken MMA out of the dark ages, but bare-knuckle boxing takes everyone back into blood sports. Why does no one talk about this? So, that was an interesting email. And an interesting message. Let me think of where to begin on this, because I do not want to be the voice on this that influences anybody. I am still coming around to the idea of uh, bare-knuckle boxing. Optically, I don't love it. Optically, I get where, I don't like the term dark age. I think that's a little bit far back. But optically, I understand that it has been a meaningful period of time since somebody went in there without at least having some pad and some leather and some gloves on. I concede, right? So it took me just, it took me just a moment, but I, I stuck with them and I, I watched a couple and I'm still not fully there yet. But I am starting to understand, I, I want to respond to this email and I want to do the absolute best that I can because I felt like this uh, viewer and listener had taken some time to put this together. Now, I'll tell you one funny thing. I wrote him back and I only said one word. I simply said, why? They wrote me back and said, thanks for responding. So we didn't really get anywhere. We didn't quite have the dialogue that I thought this was going to turn into. But let me tell you this, something that you may take with you and you may find interesting. The glove, along with the hand wraps, are there and designed, contrary to what logic may tell you, to protect the hand not to protect the object that is being struck. Let me give you some factual historical evidence of this. Senator John McCain, rest his soul, stepped in and wanted to stop mixed martial arts from happening. He was calling it terrible names and he wanted on a federal level for this to be outlawed. Now it came out over a period of time that John McCain's wife, Cindy, sat on the board of director for Budweiser, who was the number one sponsor of all of boxing, and saw mixed martial arts as a potential future competitor. When John McCain's conflict of interest was caught and outed, he quickly and quietly exited this argument. But before he did so, he said, do one thing for me. Start wrapping the hands and put some gloves on them. You do that, I'll be quiet. And he goes and sits in the corner, okay? So they did. They started wrapping the hands, they started putting gloves on him. So John McCain, with no evidence, did not speak to anybody, only had what his mind and his, his mind interpreted through what his eyes saw. In fairness to him, though very inappropriate to do that from a, a decision-making position, in fairness to him, same conclusion I would have come to. Seemingly, it would make sense, for safety reasons, to wrap the hands. What we found out is no, the wrapping of the hands, including the glove, is designed to protect the hand, not the object it's hitting. Now, this was a very long time ago. Once I got into fighting, worked my way through the amateurs and became a professional, I can fully tell you if I was to go and hit a heavy bag right now, right now in front of you guys, right this, I'm not gonna hit that thing very hard. Because if I don't have time to wrap my hands and put gloves on, I will really hurt my hands. Now that came over time. When I very first, I hit that bag all day. I never wrapped my hands once. Couldn't figure out why guys needed to wrap their hands. Well, I didn't know how to hit. I wasn't hitting very hard. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know how to turn my hips. I didn't know how to do any of that. So it is a very real thing that those gloves only protect the hands, not the object being hit. I want to offer you one other piece of that. The UFC in the early days would give the option to its contestants if they wanted to wrap their hands or wear gloves. That's up to you. And if you do want to wear a glove, Here's what we're calling mixed martial arts gloves. But it's fully up to you. Go bare knuckle if you want to. <coughs> Excuse me. The heavy hitters are the only ones that wrap their hands. I was training with Tank Abbott in 1995 when he was getting ready for the Ultimate Ultimate 2, it was called. 
And I asked him about that. I said, hey, you don't have to wrap your hands. Why do you? And he goes, oh, chair, I don't wrap my hands to protect the opponent. I wrap my hands so I can hit my opponent a lot harder. Now, the only reason I offer you this, even though it is adverse to my initial statement, that I am a little bit squeamish of the optics of two guys punching one another without gloves on, even though that's a personal feeling that I have, I do still have to be confronted with the evidence that in many ways it is a safer sport. If one of these heavy hitters throws a punch at full blast, he will break his hand for sure. He will shatter his hand. Mike Tyson got in a street fight one time. He walked outside of a bar against another professional fighter, but they walked out in a street fight. Mike hit the guy one time. Mike was out for seven months. He shattered his hand. Do you guys remember that? <coughs> Excuse me. With one punch, Mike Tyson, with no glove on, broke his hand in six different spots. One punch. Six different spots. This is a very real thing. If he would have had time to wrap his hand and put a glove on, he still would have knocked that gentleman out but his own hand would have been protected. I just want to illustrate, I think it was a very good question, but to say that this is the dark ages, and this is going to be bare knuckle boxing's plight. This is not my plight. But one of the things that they're going to have to overcome, should they choose to, they may, from a marketing standpoint, really like the fact that you guys think it's in the dark ages and that you think it's prehistoric and you think it's wrong. They're selling out arenas. But I trust that over a short period of time, they are going to need to come out and voice some of the things that I just said and go, hey, wait, wait just a second. As a matter of fact, we just had a world champion. Now, guys, I know this hasn't happened yet, but in a short period of time, we just had a world champion, Polly Malinaji, go out there and fight. Polly had to pull punches because he hit so hard. His coaches have never let him practice a day since he was nine years old without wrapping his hands and putting gloves on him. Never, zero, not one time has that happened. We now put him into a contest where we didn't get to bring our best weapon, which is a glove. I think there could be an argument, and I'm not making it. I am not making it. I'm just, I'm just starting to lay the bed of the argument that I believe will be made. There could be an argument that removing the gloves makes the sport safer. There is that same argument going on right now in football football with all the CT and all the con uh, concussions. And that's a fairly new phenomenon. As accurate as that is, the phenomenon and the dialogue behind it is fairly new. Will Smith went out, made a movie called Concussion, and really brought it to the forefront. But a lot of aficionados and experts in football, whether accurate or not, I don't know. I'm just discussing right now, guys. Many people have said the hits got harder in football as the gear got better. And if you want to start taking the hard hits away and you want to start making the sport safer, many people respected people, NFL, Hall of Famers, many, many great people have said one way to make the sport safer and take those heavy hits away is to quit making the damn pad so good. Quit making the headgear so big. Go back in the days of the 50s and 60s, late 60s. It started to change right around the early 70s for football. Don't forget the days when they used to not even have helmets. They wore something on their head, but it was more of like a leather strap. My grandfather, I've seen pictures of it. It used to be like a leather strap. There was no face mask, chin scratch. There was nothing hard about it. It was like this piece of it. They pulled it over their head. They went out there and they played. But the concussions weren't happening. Some of those heavy hits weren't happening. You just weren't seeing that. So there's some evidence towards that. I don't choose to form an opinion. I don't even really follow the sport of football. I'm just sharing with you that there is something to be said about, okay, it's honor among thieves here. I can't do it to you, but you also can't do it to me. We can only hit each other so hard. As hard as you can punch, as hard as my chin can pick a punch, and vice versa, we're both human beings. And the bones in our hands are both the same. Which means we're both going to have to pull the power a little bit and change those shots. That is my response. I tried to respond to this listener via email, but the dialogue didn't go on. Ball is now in your court.